What's going on guys? Welcome back to The People's Build where you decide every detail about this bike. Today we are going to be making a motorcycle tray and trying to break it. My name is David and welcome to Z's Garage. The people have spoken and they said they want a motorcycle tray. Now we've seen a ton of videos on motorcycle trays. They've all over the internet you can make a metal one you can make all kinds of different type of ones but i'm going to 3d print one now i don't want to just 3d print one and throw it on the motorcycle one of my concern is is how strong is this print so i want to run through some tests i want to stand on it i want to shake it and then i want to shake it some more and lastly i want to hit it with a golf ball because i love golfing and who doesn't want to see a golf ball hit a motorcycle tray. So before we get into all that, we got to mock this up. We got to make it, 3D print it, and then we got to break it. So let's mock it up. All right, so no one has asked, but I'm going to tell you anyways. The material that I'm using here for mock-up is actually like a heavy-duty poster board. Um, it's not as flimsy as cardboard, and it's a lot more rigid. Um, but a lot thinner. So I really like using the, this material. I think mock-up is super important when making any sort of part. It saves you time, it saves you filament if you're 3D printing it, and honestly, just frustration. It's important because even if I do like a fast 3D print, it takes some time. It takes a long time to 3D print. So if there's a mistake, then I can catch the fitment issues or maybe check clearances and make any sort of, you know, design changes as needed. Plus it's super cheap and really fast. So always a must. All right, let's talk about this design. It's actually a very simple design. It's a box shape. Um, it's a two-part design because my 3D printer bed is not big enough to print the whole entire thing. So I have to do it in two parts. The back part is just in addition to the major part of the tray. Um, these little mounds right here are actually just there for structure, adds a little more material to the walls. And then I have those cutouts on the side. It just allows us to fit underneath the existing mounting brackets. The main tray will pretty much hold most of everything. Um, the back part will hold probably the rectifier in the front um, will hold the rest of it. I added these two large holes, one for the back, one for the front, just to feed all my wires, make sure that it's very easy just to get everything um, through. I will add the holes later. I don't do it now because I always get my measurements pretty much wrong whenever um, I do that. So might as well just, you know, drill them out myself later. So this is my design. Let's 3D print it. All right, so our 3D print is done. I idiotically forgot to record my voice during this part of recording. So I'm basically talking about how I'm built like a refrigerator and I'm six foot three and me standing on it, you know, will, you know, basically make it or break it. So let's go ahead and try this. All right, first test was success. Now there was obviously some flex where the two 3D print pieces meet together. The epoxy didn't really hold it really well, um, but there's a bolt in here that holds it all together. Um, there was a little bit of flex, but overall really did great. The next test is what I call the shake test. I modified 
this to go into this. And we're gonna shake it. We're doing this test because the, the part that's most likely to give out is where the tray connects to the frame. That is where the most vibration is gonna happen. And honestly, that's probably the part that would give out. So I wanna shake this for a couple minutes. It's not gonna be uh, you know full on like. Not like that, um, just like a light shake. So let's shake it. All right, even though it's broken, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out um, because it didn't break when, until the point that I started just cranking it 100% full speed. Now I know I said I wouldn't do it, but it was way too tempting to not do it. I had it like on a medium speed for probably about five minutes and then it failed. It broke right down the middle. Now, the part that I really do like that where it broke is right down the middle. I mean, this part right here, the tabs, um, it held. So it's not gonna fall off the motorcycle if it does break um, because it has actually, you know, three points of contact or two points of contact for the tab. So happy with it. Let's hit some golf balls on this one. Even though it's broken, I'm gonna try to hit it on this bottom part and we'll go from there. All right, the results are in and it is broken. It is definitely very much broken, but I'm not upset with these results at all. Our stand test did perfectly fine. Stood on it, no breakage. Our shake test, only when I turned it up to the max, it broke, which I'm happy with. And it didn't break on the tabs, like where the mounting points are. And then for the golf ball test, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of lightly flex over here. Uh, my seven iron, I'm hitting about 185 to 190 yards with my seven iron, just a little flex. And we made pretty good contact, only took me like three or four shots to actually hit this tray. No big deal, pretty accurate. Anyways, and it broke. It broke this, the golf ball did break it, but again, the most important part is all these tabs are intact. And if a rock or something hits this tray um, and it breaks, I'm not worried about things falling out because it's still gonna be intact and I could easily replace it. So I'm overall really happy. I printed this in PET G carbon fiber um, at a 75% infill. I'll probably just do a little more infill and go from there. So I'm gonna reprint it. I'm actually already almost done with reprinting it, but next up, we are going to be doing a tail light. Now, I know usually I ask you guys what you guys want next, but I think that this tail light is very unique and not like anything you've ever seen before on any other motorcycle. And ultimately, it will be you your decision if you wanna keep this tail light or not. So we're 3D printing it, we're working through a design, a little scary because it's like a month or a month and a half of designing alone 
and then uh, you know 3D printing and all that stuff. So definitely taking time and effort and money. So thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.